Ooh. Oh my god! What is up guys? My name is Mark Semmer and welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to RC Vlog guys. Today we are going out to a tractor store. Not to buy a car, at least I don't plan on buying a car. Of course it could always happen. But I'm just getting some parts and we're also going to take that old Latrax car that I got uh, free at the swap meet that Gary gave me at the swap meet. We're going to take it into the Trax store and ask for power up, see what they do with that. And then if we have time, we are going to take the Rustler. I, I transformed the Rustler. I've got this new goal, guys, this new goal. I want to see if I can hit 100 miles an hour in the Rustler. I know that's a super ambitious goal. If I can get to 80, that's really good, too. But let me show you what I did to the Rustler. It is ready for top speed. Oh man, here it is guys. So I basically put the XO1 tires on there. I changed the gearing to 7635, which is big time. And we're basically gonna see how fast it goes with the VXL system. Now I have another system we're gonna put in this thing to push it a little bit further. But we're gonna see how this goes first. I'm thinking, I'm hoping at about 75, maybe 76 with this setup. I think the brush system that I will put in it after this We'll go a little bit faster, but we're going to see what the maximum speed you can get out of the VXL 3S is without going with custom gears or doing some custom fabrications. So here it is. I put the 17 millimeter hexes on the rear. That way you can fit the XL1 tires. And yeah, we are going to do some high speed runs. All right, guys, here's the uh, Latrax. <laughs> the Latrax. I'm basically just going to walk in with this box. I'm like, hey, I just want to do a power up on this and uh, see what they say. I'm sure, I mean, obviously, they're going to be like, oh, we can't do that. But... It's going to be fun to see the reaction when they see this thing. Hopefully they didn't already see it on my vlog, which may maybe they did. Maybe they did. And yes, guys, the SCX6 is still in the back of my truck. I need to clean it off after taking it to the creek the other day. Super cool car. If you haven't seen the videos yet, I'll put a link in the eye above somewhere so you guys can see the unveiling of the new Axial SCX6. All right, guys, we're here. Hopefully they don't sniff us out early. I'm sure they've already seen this vlog, but we're going to try it anyways. Here we go. What's up, man? What's up, dude? Got some new stuff today? Uh, lights for the, yes, lights for the drag slash. Lights for the, lights for the drag slash? Nice. I need to get some of those. Can we do, can we do a power up on this thing? Ah, oh, dang it. You already knew what, you already knew what it was. Dang, that sucks. What am I supposed to do with this thing? I don't get it. The little tracks. I think. I saw it on the video. They they sniffed it out, guys. Sorry, we tried. <laughs> Dang it, guys! I figured they had already they had already seen the video, but that's exactly what happened. He said as soon as I got out of my truck, he knew what it was. He saw the video as soon as it published. But yeah, so the the history is apparently, I think the owner's dad owned that company. They were actually manufactured in Garland, which is right down the street from from McKinney, which is where the Traxxas store is. So it is, it's tied all the way into like the owner's dad or something like that. I don't know the details and I don't know if I'm supposed to know the details or not. But yeah, it goes way back behind before the owner actually made Traxxas was Latrax. And apparently you can find them on eBay right now and get those cars. I think they're only like, they said like 67, 70 bucks. I'll look it up when I get home and, and try to post a link in the description below, but that's pretty freaking funny, that's insane. All right guys, so they do have some new stuff. Apparently these just came in, and when I say just came in, like they haven't even put them on the shelves yet. This is the light kit for the new drag slash. Not really new drag slash, I guess relatively new drag slash. But apparently they just kind of clip right in here in the buckets. You can see the buckets under the car here. There they are right there. So we're gonna get a set, we're gonna put them on our car, we'll figure out how easy it is to put on. Usually these Traxxas kits are so super easy to put on and they go in really clean, so. I've got no worries, but that's actually not a bad price for a light kit for the drag slash. So we're going to be picking those up or just one because I only have one drag slash right now. Or do I need another drag slash? No, we're not buying a new car today. That was that was the rule. I'm finding it, guys. I want this blue one, the brilliant blue. I want it. I want it really bad. Ugh. So many cool colors. Look at the green. No, we're not going to do it. We're not doing it. We're not buying a car. Oh, I do need a max body, though. I need to pick up another max body. They still have them guys. If you need one, they have them at the Traxxas store, the, the rainbow Bigfoot. I really, I'm starting to dig the rainbow color more than the black and white now. We're gonna go walk over to the bodies and see if they have that black and white still in stock. But look, they got two of them here. Oh man. 
No, we're not doing it. Oh, they have two. Two black and white bodies. Oof. Look at all the Rustler 4x4 bodies. This is it. This is the... Uh, oh, no, look. This is like a... No, this is the one that I have. I kind of want another Rustler 4x4. Because I only have one, and you know how I am, guys. I need to do... I need to have two to do all different types of stuff to it. So, hmm. All right, guys, let me show you what I got. So I got another set of 17 millimeter hex adapters. Um, about, I've used two of them on the back of the Rustler. I want, I think I want to put two more on the back of the Bandit. So I like to have a set just in case I decide to do a project and I don't want to go run out to the track store to get it. So I got those. I got this guy. This is the servo adapter for the Traxxas X Max and Max. I'm going to put this servo. This is the Savox Monster Servo. I got these in the storage unit. I got three of them in the storage unit. I saw the specs on them and it's pretty freaking amazing. So I'm going to put this one on my Max. I think it's almost 500 ounces there. So I got this piece. I got the metal servo horn for it, for the Max. So now I have the metal servo horn. And then I got to show you something really interesting about these. So. Traxxas actually has three different types of 17 millimeter wheel nuts. So they have this 17 millimeter wheel nut. See, it's just like this. Basically, there's no like serration, nothing to keep the wheel from the nut from backing off. And then they have one like that. Sorry. See how there's basically these little, these little like almost like ribs there to keep the wheel from or the nut from backing off on the wheel. And then they release these. So these are the 17 millimeter wheel wheel nut spline serrated so the serration i thought was just this i thought this was serrated wheel nuts but look at this they're like really hardcore serrated those are freaking nice this is the first time i've ever seen wheel nuts like this so i went ahead and got a few sets for all my cars um but another interesting thing that you're probably asking yourself techno makes those right techno techno makes wheel nuts serrated wheel nuts why don't i use those well, the threads on the 17 millimeter threads are different than like a standard uh, race buggy thread. I don't know if you can tell in that picture there, but essentially you cannot put this Traxxas nut on here on like a normal Techno 17 millimeter hex because the threads are different. So it's a threading difference, which is super lame. I tried it, I almost stripped them out, and then I realized whenever I compared them, Basically, every four threads equals three threads on the Traxxas car, on the Traxxas 17mm wheel hex. So don't try to use your old racing 17mm wheel nuts on Traxxas cars. They will not work unless you cross thread or strip them on there. So, yes, yeah, see, you learned something today. You learned something about 17mm wheel hexes on Traxxas cars. I totally skipped over this. I'm going to put this on the drag car tonight. So this is the, the new drag car wheel I've been talking about wheel hexes the whole time. <laughs> this is the new drag car LED kit. It's just for the front, not for the back, but we're gonna put them on my drag car, my Traxxas drag slash later. And then also this servo, the Eco Power servo. This is the one that we wanted to try out that Amen sent me, the 120T. I'm gonna throw this in the Haas. So right now the Haas has the, the Protec 100T. This one is the 120T, it's a little bit more than the 100T. And we know we put the Haas through through uh, you know a lot of hardcore bashing, so that will really put that servo to the test. All right, guys, we're doing some night high speed passes, which is uh, it's something I don't recommend because you can't really see well. But I got my truck pointed down this long runway here. Uh, we just found this place. My high speed testing facility has a whole bunch of people at it. It's not a good idea to test there because if you hit somebody, it's not good. But I have my truck pointed down this long runway. This is the first time I've ever done passes here. I don't really have to see the car. I just need to make sure that I have enough runway. So we're gonna give this a shot. I, I figure only a couple of passes. I probably only need two passes. I just wanna see how much speed we can get out of the stock power system on a Traxxas Rustler VXL. Again, I have the X01 tires on it. 76, 35 gearing. Should be interesting, so let's do it. All right, guys, here goes nothing. Uh, we got, the, I'm waiting for the uh, GNSS analyzer to lock some satellites and then we are ready to go. Sometimes it takes a little bit to lock satellites. Come on, lock some satellites. There we go. We locked 10 satellites. All right. Got the camera light on full blast. Here we go. I don't even know where it is. 
<laughs> Let's see if you can go find it. All right, guys, that did not go well. I couldn't, I couldn't see it. As soon as I got all the way on it, it completely lost control. Um, we probably need to do some some passes during the day because I have no idea how this thing is acting. I, I literally, I lost, <laughs> I lost it. Maybe the night speed runs isn't the best idea. We're gonna try to get though. Poor Ethan had to run super freaking far to get it. All right, we're gonna try it one more time because I just want to live a little. And I'm basically going all on sound and I'm not gonna be able to turn around when I get down there because I can't see it. We're just gonna go as fast as we can and then just slam on the brake. So here we go. All right, I see it. All right, I saw it. Okay, uh, it looks like it's tracking just a smidge to the left. We're gonna do it one more time. It's probably a bad idea. We're gonna do it one more time. All right, this spot is amazing. I just don't have enough light, but we did. We did two We did two solid passes. The last pass, I did go extra far where I couldn't see it. I couldn't even turn around. Ethan actually had to go get it. Um, that's him, that little speck right there, bringing the car back. We're about to read what it says, our top speed tonight. We're gonna do it again tomorrow morning. I don't, this isn't gonna be the end all be all on the stock electrics or the stock electronics on this car, top speed, but let's see what it is. Holy craps, guys. Holy craps. Holy crap, guys. 70 miles an hour in the dark. So that's basically nothing out of Traxxas stuff. So all Traxxas stuff on this with the stock VXL, 70 miles an hour. I think I can go faster. I bet you we can probably get 76, 80. Um, but we're going to have to do it when there's more sun because this is this is sketch. All right, guys. I couldn't, I couldn't wait till next video to do the speed run. So we're back the next morning. You can see how long this runway is this freaking runway is awesome and what i really like about it is there's this line right in the middle so i can make sure i'm just close to the line but we're gonna see what it does i still think 76 we did 70 last night in the dark now that i can see it i think we'll hit 76 so let's do this all right here we go guys someone just pulled up there's a car down there so i gotta be kind of careful but see i can see it this time which is just beautiful all right ethan you look behind me and make sure there's no one coming no one coming, no one in the way. Ew. Oh my God. Guys, we, we almost took ourselves out there. All right, so we <laughs> we did that pass. Let's see what that one was. We did hit the curb at the end. Stop and read. That was only 68? We're gonna have to get on it earlier than this. All right, guys, we broke the wheelie bar. I mean, there's no way for me to stop at the end of that, on the end of the runway without me slamming in the curb. Like, I wanna try to stay on it, stay in it the whole time. So I try to brake at the last minute and I always brake too late. So every time we stop, or at the end of the run, we hit that curb on the end and I guess that rear wheelie bar had enough. Luckily, uh, Andy at the Traxxas store told me to get the metal one and I bought it even though I didn't think I'd ever need it. And look, I actually need it. That's pretty freaking funny. So we can't do any more runs, but we did another 70 uh, just now. Let me see. We did another 70 just now. I think we could go for faster if we had a bigger runway. We just don't have a bigger runway. I mean, this thing is huge. We need it just a little bit, a little bit longer. So we got to do some better research on a better runway before we make this thing go in faster. But 70 is not, not bad at all. All right. This is the part that we broke. It's just this rear piece right here. Sorry, not even centered. Uh, this rear piece right here. I have the wheel. Ethan did find the wheel. He saw it fly off. I'm not joking. I have this, I have this on the, on my pegboard. I'm like, I'm never gonna use this. This is the aluminum one. <laughs> Andy said I'm, that people are breaking them. That's crazy that I have that. So I'll be able to throw, it on, throw that on there. I did notice that the uh, some of the, the runs that we did were invalid. I think Evan was controlling the GPS GNSS analyzer. And I think what happens is whenever you activate it while the car is moving, they're invalid. So I don't know if that 70 is real or not. I, I think it is. I don't see why that would matter, but because they're invalid, I can't take it for sure. 
We're gonna have to find a bigger spot though. I can't hit the curb every time. I mean, the uh, the car's not gonna like that if I continue to hit the curb. So we're gonna find a better spot. We're gonna do a couple more runs with the VXL in it. However, I got this. This is what we're gonna put in it next. This is the Spectrum 6800, 6500 60, KV. So technically this motor spins twice as fast as this because this is about a 3500 KV. This comes in the low C drag car. So I, I bought that from Chico's Chop Shop online. I love watching his auction. So I went ahead and picked it up and we're gonna throw it in here after we get done fully testing everything with the VXL. We're gonna get fast. I don't know if we're gonna hit 100. I wanna hit 100 and we might keep going until we hit 100, but we're gonna go super fast with this thing. Should be a lot of fun. Well, I hope you liked this video, guys. If you did, smash the like button, subscribe to my channel, turn on the notification bell, and you guys will see me next time. Later, guys.